Hi, lovely to see you all again and today we are going to learn some mixed media techniques. I'm going to take you through three of my favourite mixed media techniques that I do in my own sketchbook. This is my sketchbook. I love to keep a sketchbook to um, explore my imagination and to experiment with new techniques and I'm going to show you three fun techniques that I like to do. They're great for preschool aged children through to adults, so everybody can have fun with this. Um, you don't need too many art materials, but I will take you through what we need. You need some oil pastels, it's nice to have an assortment of different colours. You will need some watercolour paints, some paint brushes, and you will need some paper. Now I'm just using small little scraps of paper here because I'm going to tuck these into my sketchbook later as little experimental pieces. Um, you can use any size and any shape or any colour paper that you like to use. Watercolour paper is helpful because it has a nice textured tooth to the paper which means that the watercolour paint adheres to it nicely. Scissors and a pencil. So let's begin today's project. So we are going to start with one of my favourites. We are going to start with watercolour and oil pastel technique. So oil pastels are oil based which means that the watercolour resists the oil. We are going to create a little party bird like this, experimenting with colours. So you will need your piece of paper and an oil pastel, I've chosen blue. Now let's start, let's play with the theme of birds. So I'm going to draw quite a simple bird. Now don't worry too much about what your bird looks like. Go back to your childhood days and draw a basic bird shape. There's my bird shape. Now I'm going to add... I'm going to change colour. fun with drawing and don't worry too much about it. Just enjoy the process of using the oil pastels. And I'm going to finish off with a little eye. So you can see this picture is very simple. It's a very simple little bird. Right, next we need our watercolour paint. Now for watercolour you need to use lots of water, I'm going to use red. Now all I'm going to do is lightly brush over and around my bird. Now when you're using watercolour paint, you are aiming to move the water and the ink around the page without using too many brush strokes. Now you don't want to brush the paint on because you want to avoid the look of brush strokes. So I like to call it, it's like a ballet dancer lightly dancing across the page or like a feather just tickling the tip of the paper. So your touch is very light. Now while that's wet, a lovely thing to do with watercolour paint to add a different shade and the colours can bleed together. I don't like to go right up to the edges because I think it looks much more effective if the whole page isn't covered. Now here you can see that the watercolour has resisted still, so you can still see the oil pastel underneath and it creates a lovely colourful little picture. Now it looks lovely if you do a whole set of birds like this and this will add to my sketchbook. To all my other birds I've done here, I've done a pink one with a lovely black background, I've done a blue oil pastel with a red background, this one's a little bit lighter, this one's really effective with the blue and the yellow, that's a lovely contrast there. 
So experiment and have fun with that. That's our first technique. So I hope you enjoyed making a little party bear. Second technique is using this stencil to create a hard outline with oil pastel. So we're going to continue with the bird theme and you will need a new sheet of paper. So here I have a new sheet of paper and I have cut a stencil here. So this is a piece of scrap paper. I've drawn a bird shape inside and cut it out. Now the black paper is just to demonstrate so that you can see that this is a stencil because it's hard to see on the white paper. So I'm going to take that away because I don't need it. Now what you're going to do is put your stencil down on the paper like that, hold it nice and tight. Now I've chosen some lovely oil pastel colours here. So our theme is going to be a festival fun party bird. So I'm going to fill in the inside of my stencil with colour. You just need to make sure that you're holding your stencil down nice and firmly so you get those nice hard edges. So I have filled in the inside of my stencil. I'm going to remove this now and it should leave a nice hard clean line. There we go, that looks lovely. So now once you have done that you can then add, you can then add further detail. So this is going to be a chicken. So now we're going to come back to our watercolour. Because what is a quite a nice effective technique. Is to fill your paint roller and gently tap it onto your paper. So I've used a similar technique to what we did before where I've moved the watercolour paper around, the watercolour paint around, but I've also kept some of the splodges in there to add movement and a little bit of spontaneity. So I think this is really effective as it is and I'm tempted not to overwork this with too many brush strokes because I just really like how it's looking at the moment and sometimes less is more. So that's our second technique, using a stencil to create a hard edged drawing. So here's our little chicken, a bit wet. So that's our second technique. I think that's really effective and a really pretty lovely drawing. So next I'm going to show you the third technique. Now this is one of my favourites. I'm going to find it in my sketchbook for you. Here we go. So this here is using oil pastel as a base layer and acrylic paint on top and it creates an etching style drawing where you can add lots of detail but you have to work quite quickly so it's quite a spontaneous and organic process and it's lots of fun so let's have a go with that one shall we now for this technique I'm going to draw a crow 
I'm going to do a rough outline of a crow first. So let's look into the side this crow. Now I'm going to fill in the inside of the crow with oil pastels. Now I know that crows are black, but if you look really closely at their feathers, they also have hints of blue and green. So here's my crow and it's um, coloured in oil pastel. So at the moment it doesn't look much like a crow, it just looks like a green and blue blob. But now we're going to create some magic. We need oil and um, we need acrylic paint. I've got some here. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush but not too much because really I want to use this neat. So for this technique you're going to work quite quickly and what we're going to do we're going to paint over our crow and we need to do this before the paint dries. So now I've filled in my crow we can't see the oil pastel anymore. So now you want to have a sharp pencil or a stick and what you're going to do is you are going to slowly work through the paint to add details. Now every now and then you might need to just clean off your stick if you've done the paint quite thick. So once you start carving through the paint you can see the oil pastel coming through underneath and it's almost like a form of etching. our oil pastel etched crow. So you can see here the black paint on top has been carved away to reveal some lovely detail underneath. I've then used watercolour technique as we did before to create some background texture. Gives the drawing, gives the painting a little bit more um, depth and I have added some splodges there to add a little bit of movement. So this is our third technique. I really hope that you've enjoyed doing all of our doing all of our techniques today. I urge you to experiment and have fun. I enjoy the process of using art materials. See what they can all do, mix them together and experiment a little bit. And I urge you to get a sketchbook and keep all of your results and your experiments in your book because one day when you look through it, you'll have lots of you'll have lots of different pictures and things to draw on, draw on again and to inspire you and it's also so good for your mental health to 
and just keep drawing and experimenting and being creative. It's a really great way to spend some time. So thank you very much for joining me again and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you. Goodbye.